check, check, check. No way, she got it. She got this for She got it. One, one. I got it. Going to back to this one. Test one, two, one, two. Going back to the black. One, two, one, two. Check, 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 check. Four, give me a four. One, two, three. Four. One, yeah, yeah. Still black, Mike. One. Is that too loud or is that cool for y'all? Is that cool? Cool? Clear? How about this one? Clear? Clear? One. Too much feedback, I think. Just a little bit. Too much feedback. I think complex. Test, 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 test. Look at that. DJ Complex, ladies and gentlemen. Yes. All right. Hey, it's cool to have your phones out. We want everyone to take pictures and share on social media. But don't, you know, don't don't let it consume you, man, because it's not that often that you actually get to see someone in person. And when you're like this the whole time, you, you, you don't get to see them. You're just living it through your screen. So enjoy the moment. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to our Power 98.3, 96.1 for the East Valley Meet and Greet Q&A with Lil Zay. <laughs> Woo! There he is. What's up, dude? There you go. Good, good. I like that shirt, man. Yeah. Yeah. What is that, water? Sprite? Uh, Sprite. Sprite. Okay. Sprite. Sprite. Drink more water. 
Exactly. Water's key, man. Water's key. I like the shirt though, cause you know it's World Games, Olympics about to start and all that yeah, stuff. Yeah, yeah. Man. I just saw it and I was like, you gotta get that. Yeah. <laughs> I'm feeling, I'm feeling that, man. First of all, uh, welcome to Phoenix. Yeah. Oh. Uh, welcome, is it a welcome back to Phoenix? Yeah. Oh yeah. I came here uh, two years ago when I wasn't even uh, popping. Yeah. Yeah. And we and I still had the funnest time. I got mad love for Arizona, and to be back here, it's like amazing. Yeah, man. Well, you know, and I like that. I respect that because when people say, like, I wouldn't even pop it. Because sometimes some artists don't even admit that there was a time where you weren't popping. Like, all of a sudden, yeah. this came No, no, there's a while where I wasn't popping. <laughs> yeah. Well, you know, I just want to say, uh, and I got I to gotta put Jules on this right quick because I got to give her her clout. Or her clouds do, man, because she's the one that actually put me on to you, man. Oh, no. <laughs> Thank you so much. Yeah. yeah so, so you started your whole rap career about like a year ago? Yes. Yeah, I mean, I was doing it like as a hobby for like two, not like a year and eight months. Okay. And it got serious in the last year. How did you start off? You started off as a, as a Yeah, I was a right? photographer uh, taking pictures for my homie uh, Stephen King and some of y'all might know him. Uh, yeah, definitely. And then my camera got stolen at a show, and you know, I just said, fuck it, I'm gonna start rapping. Yeah. Okay, so wait, so it got lost, and then. No, I stole it. I got stolen. I told, I told the DJ, watch, watch the camera. He didn't do his job. Yeah, he didn't, he probably stole it. <laughs> <laughs> I, I probably, I learned that down the road, I'm like, he probably was the one that stole it. Alright, so you started off with Lil Xan. Um, I heard you were gonna change your name. That's a rumor. You're gonna change it. Yeah, it's uh, I mean, all the blogs picked that up so quick, which was. Well, wild. you know how it is now. Yeah, it, it's, say something. It's spread like wildfire, but um, I'm Little Zan, aka Diego. You can call me Little Zan. I love it. You can call me Diego. Yeah. I love it. Right. Uh, we're dropping this first album under Little Zan, but down the road, second, third album, we're definitely transitioning into Diego. But for right now, Zan, Diego, all of them. I love it, I love it all. And I was about to ask you that, because uh, the rumor was like, you know, hey, you wanted to go with Diego soon, yeah. but like the label kind of stepped in and was like, no man, we, you spent so much time on your marketing as yeah. well as saying, nah, it just kind of makes sense. That was, yeah, that was totally a rumor. The label let me do whatever I want. Yeah, okay, and that's it, because you got a lot of people there to get the deals, and uh, I, don't, I don't know if it's yeah, yeah. yeah, a lot of people, they may not know how, you know, sometimes in the, in the, in the record business, Sometimes when you sign, like there's some things that you can't do anymore, right. and a lot of artists lose creative control. So it's good to see that your favorite artist can't keep his creative control. You feel me? Yeah, we're definitely in uh, full creative control of all our music. Yeah. All right, so we got the tour happening right now. Uh, the single that you know we're we're here for, you're promoting right now. Yes. Uh, Betray. Yep. Um, let's just talk about the, the song and like how you're noticing the growth across the country. More yeah. people. Uh, they're getting put on to Lil Xan. I mean, uh, how's all this feeling? What's the response for, for, for the record? That people that might not have been like your ride or die fans that are here, yeah. but people coming into Lil Xan, man, what's the response? Uh, it's it's all positive, it's all love. You know, they, they're, if you're hearing Lil Xan, especially if you're trying to put a first time, which a lot of people are, then um, you're, they know what's good. You know, right, they, right. they hear the message and they're like, okay, Lil Xan. Lil Xan, because I mean, at first, Lil Xan sounds like, what is this? Like, what, what is this gonna sound like? Right. Uh, but then they do the research and they find out I'm actually not that bad of a rapper. <laughs> yeah, right, right, you know what I mean? Uh, well, cause we all judge. I don't care what anybody says. I know we're not supposed to judge nowadays and we're, you know, our culture is moving towards like anti-bullying, no judging, but everybody deep down judges a little when they see, uh, and, and they presume you're white, but we all know you're Mexicano, man, you know what I'm saying? And, and, and you know, they kind of, they want to judge off top and then, including my, I know I mean, I preach just a little bit, but I, I, I listen, I'm like, okay, Lil Zane got a little something. It, it's all love, you already know, it's all love, bro. You know, life is crazy right now, man. Like, it's going at, it's accelerating at such, so fast. And I'm just trying to get used to this. Like, it's my first tour, you know? First tour is sold out in five hours across the whole North America, you know? So, uh, this is like day eight or something of the tour. And I'm happy to be in Arizona with all the, the beautiful fans and out of it. You're looking good. You're sober now, right? Yeah, completely sober. 100% sober. sober. I'm not, I'm not, are, you to, are you trying to hit on those yeah. animals? Thank you. Thank you. Do you feel a difference? Because oh, of course, you got to, man. I mean, man, when you're living an unhealthy lifestyle and you break out of that, uh, yeah, you feel just the world's better. Wasn't it hard? Was it hard? Yeah, it's, it's, it's super hard. But uh, just gotta keep a uh, level head. I'm very strong, like strong. Yeah, so it wasn't that hard. And 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 I just want to say for the people that, I, and I'm and I'm happy for you. Um, uh, but for the people that 
might not have that strong, that, that mentality of yeah. trying to kick a habit, whatever their vice is, whether it's perp, whether it's the, the Percocets, whether it's uh, lean, uh, 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 smoking, whatever it is, the yep. Zannies, um, for the person that needs just a little bit of kick, a little motivation, what can you offer that person right now that's gonna get them through? Uh, just, you always gotta know, like, when you're going through the, it really bad, you know, you feel like you're dying, you feel like all that, you're not alone, you know, a big part of it is they feel alone, like, they're, like, nobody suffers with their side. And I'm here to tell you, I suffer severe anxiety every day of my life, and I'm still coping with it, I'm hoping one day that it'll get better, and, you know, just, just know, you're not alone, like, you're not alone, and get help, like, you know, get the professional help you need, and always, it is the best to talk to someone about your problems, never bottle it up and keep it in, always talk to someone that you really feel can help you, and, yeah, just know you're not alone, we all suffer this. Do you feel, and I, this is just my life experience, that for minorities, it may be a little harder, I'm not trying to get too deep, no, but just in our culture, in minorities, whether you're black, brown, maybe Asian as well, it's kind of hard for us to admit when something is wrong with us. And we kind of bottle up where other cultures may express it openly, but our cultures are kind of keeping it and don't talk about it. Yeah, um, definitely, I see that. I know what you're talking about, I feel like that. Um, I just feel like it's a different time and it's a different era of music, so I feel like this, this new wave, I call it new wave, yeah. uh, is very, very more accepting of a lot of things. So I think as we move forward, we're gonna see like, just a lot more acceptance in, in what we're doing and everything. Yeah. yeah, and I'm glad you said that because this is a, uh, this is a. Uh, I just talked about this yesterday with my friends. You know the whole wash dad movement. I think that's gonna. I, I think the whole wash dad wave is gonna come in to where it's kind of cool to be a dad and take care of your kids. Cause yeah. I, I'm gonna be a new dad. Man, we just made the announcement yesterday or two days ago. A little baby boy on the way. So now we're gonna start this wave along with your wave. And it's like, yo, if you got kids, yeah. we're we gonna take them out with us. Like, shout out to old Jesus, you know what I'm saying? By the baby right there. And I think it's gonna be the new wash dad wave. And yeah. we're gonna, you know, we're gonna own it just from there. Yeah, my dad, and shout out to my dad. Uh, he's super dope. He got me into all the music stuff uh, at an early age. So, yeah. your parents are really both my, yeah, both my parents are very supportive. I love them. I uh, had a great childhood. Always gave me, you know, we, we didn't have a lot of money, but they always got, you know, what they paid for me, so. so you got your mom's, uh, and yeah, yeah, first hat. First hat? First hat too, okay. yeah, yeah. How many tattoos do you have now? I've been asked that question a lot recently. I really don't know, I'd say like 12. 12, okay. Mostly on my face. <laughs> yeah, um, and, and the one that means the most would be? Uh, candy, definitely my mom's name. You gotta do it, man, you gotta do it, man. I think if you really, really, you, you're about your mom and everything, put it on your body somewhere, yeah, man. You got it, you got it. And what better tattoo for her to not get mad at than her name? So she didn't get mad. She still got a little mad. A little mad. A little mad, a little mad, 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 mad. They were so supportive. I love, I'm a mommy's boy, so you know. So I, I know you grew up in the, uh, in the IE. Yeah, 909. Uh, and so shout out to the IE, man. Um, but I know that lifestyle is different than the LA lifestyle. Very different. Uh, car culture is really big out there. Uh, probably the biggest place for car culture, you know, slamming cars and all that good stuff. Car meetups. Um, but other than that, it doesn't really have a, a theme to it besides the, the that, you know. San Bernardino is one of like, the most dangerous cities in the world. They were right next to there. Um, not a lot to do out there, you know, so a lot of people try to make their way out to LA uh, to chase their dreams, and I guess that's kind of guilty of that. Yes, I mean, are, are you adjusting, because I heard you got your own apartment now, you live in kind of out of Staples Center downtown. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, got, I got a nice little, little apartment right by the Staples Center, but I'm already about to move to, uh, I'm, I'm going to get a crib, I want a crib now. Well, I heard, I heard, I heard, uh, like the Valley. Yeah, Studio I, City. I, I, see, I, I still got, I, I got a crib at Sherman Oaks still. Oh, no, that's Sherman Oaks, yeah, I'm yeah, looking I'm, at townhouses out in Sherman Oaks. That's, that's the spot, man, would have been a milk bank, where you can find my Man, I love it. I came up in the valley. That's where all my studios are, my business, so, and that traffic. You already know the traffic. Yeah, the downtown the valley. Now, I like how you say my business. Let's, uh, cause I know I've heard you got a couple different businesses happening right now. Yeah, I'm a young, uh, young entrepreneur. Young, yeah, young entrepreneur, man. What's the, uh, I guess, what's the, of course we got music. Yeah. We know we got the merch. Shout out to your merch game, oh, man. I know you can't look at it. She went out and got, I mean, she had that one Thank you so much. Yeah. You already know, I appreciate anybody that's rocking with the whole movement. Well, what, what else we got? Because I'm going to tell you a couple things that I might have heard that you're into. Uh, but what, what, are, what are things that we may not know right now that the different businesses you're involved in? We got a lot of stuff in the work with uh, some, most I can't talk about. Um, a lot of sponsorships, real big sponsorships coming through, collabs. Um, 
Just a lot of dope stuff. Uh, we just dropped the Valentine's Day's Anarchy merch, sold out in eight hours. And then we restocked it, sold out in two hours. So quick. So uh, we're just working on our next drop because the people were just are relentless and they want it and I'm gonna give it. You said endorsements and uh, shout out to everybody that bought a, a box of Skittles. Who bought them Skittles today? Anybody bought Skittles? <laughs> no. Oh, you? Oh, yeah. Shout out here. Yeah. I just gotta ask you this because, uh, you know, the reference in, in, in the songs and, and things, but uh, I saw one interview with like, yo, Skittles. Gotta cut me the check, man. I need to be a I should, I should have been in the Super Bowl ad. Right? <laughs> I was like, right? I, I mean, Skittles has always been popping, but you were like, I made Skittles yeah. pop again. Yo, hey, I know I made Skittles some money. Okay. You know I did. Yeah. <laughs> Shout out to Skittles, but no, we reached out and they're iffy about it. But. Hey, is that a possible endorsement, though? One of the things you might be talking about? They're, they're waiting on it. They're waiting on it. Okay. Okay. Also, speaking of businesses, and I don't know if y'all know this or not, but rumor is. That you own, did she tell me this? What, what is he on? What's the rumor? It's a rumor that you own a Del Taco? I own a Del Taco. You own a Del Taco? Not, yeah, not a rumor, I own a Del Taco. Yeah. How, how did you own a Del Taco? Because I read, when I lived out there, I, I, I used to eat at Del Taco just because I could afford their Tuesdays and Thursdays, baby. <laughs> and so I, I looked into the, the franchise and then, and for, for, if you're trying to question this man's business or money, yeah. you need 500,000 liquid to be able to play <laughs> and at least another million to get a Del Taco. <laughs> so congratulations on picking up a Del Taco, for real, man. Thank you so much. I had to do it, so, cause you know, Del Taco is my favorite uh, eating establishment. Thank you. And uh, I'm, I'm, I'm actually gonna be the first one to bring it to the East Coast. Okay. That's my goal. Yeah, cause you don't really see them past they, Texas. They're not, yeah, they don't, they, 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 they in the East Coast, they only know about Taco Bell. Yeah, and they don't know what they miss in the Del Taco. Right, there you go, there you go. Uh, the crazy thing though, is just speaking of food right quick, I heard that, uh, and I don't know if you realize this, uh, that you're, uh, well, I'm gonna just say it like this. You and President Trump have something in common. Oh God, no way. <laughs> you both love McDonald's, I heard that too. You like McDonald's uh, as well. I'm gonna have to switch it up. <laughs> Okay, it's something Del Taco from here on out. Yo, no, I like, I like a lot of stuff. But I'm, I'm a simple guy. I'm not eating caviar. I'm eating, you know, chicken nuggets. So. Wait, what? You're Mexican. So what is your favorite Mexican dish? Oh, good. Oh, carne asada. Carne asada. Wow. Wow. Yeah. 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 There you go. Yeah. If, if, yeah. if you had to choose uh, your favorite tacos or what you eat for the rest of your life, Lil's hand, what would that be? Like my favorite taco? Yeah. Like carnitas with everything on it. Yeah. Ooh, now these are soggy ones, but they're crispy. The crispy. The onions and everything on it, oh, salsa. And everything like that, man. <laughs> hey, uh, and, and, just, and just talking about life and, and, you know, you got your apartment and everything, you're about to move again. I also know one of your, uh, your dream cars. The thing that you want is the G-Wagon. Yeah, I'm actually, uh, I was gonna get it uh, before the tour, uh -huh. but I was like, why would I do that? I couldn't be on the tour bus knowing I have that beautiful car at my house and not it's not being driven. Not like, you know what I mean? So I'm, I'm waiting to after the tour and I'm gonna get it. Yeah. You about to get it? Yeah. What color are we going with? I'm gonna go with like an off-white tan color. Okay. Yeah, okay. okay. But I'll probably switch it eight times before, you know. There you go. Hey, congratulations on that. Hey, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I'm getting G-Wagon, man. That's big. Yeah, thank I'm, you. I'm, I'm truly happy for people when thank you. they start getting success and they're able to buy the things that they want. They yeah. can take care of their family to take care of themselves. So it's been a dream of mine to take care of my family. I mean, they raised me for 21 years, so it's my turn, you know? Yeah. And then, hey, so you tweeted, I think it was yesterday, the day before yesterday, that you are off Twitter. Why? I, I'm, off, I'm taking a little hiatus. Okay, just for a bit. Yeah, no one ever. Oh, uh, no, for a bit. Yeah, just for like, uh, like I don't even have a Snapchat, you know what I mean? Like, I don't like juggling multiple social medias, and Twitter was already kind of becoming too much for me. Uh, I love my Twitter fans, and I'm gonna be back, but just a couple weeks while I'm on tour, I'm gonna stick to Instagram. So, the best way to get, okay, you just said that Instagram is the best way if they want to get those in. Yeah, way. Instagram is the best way. Okay. Um, I, I, I want to ask this question because earlier you talked about the, the camera and photography. And shout out to all the photographers and videographers around the world, man. Yeah, Very out. serious craft. Um,